If you want to know the best way to see Denali National Park, you are going to want to stick around for the entirety of this vlog. After taking the Alaska Railroad from Fairbanks to Denali, I stayed at the Denali cabins, but the adventure was just beginning on my way to the Denali Backcountry Lodge. Get ready to see Denali like you've never before. Good morning. I've just been getting ready. I had such an amazing night's sleep. This bed is super comfortable at the Denali cabins, but I had to wake up early to repack some of my stuff in a soft shell bag because today I'm going on a helicopter and we're taking it to the backcountry lodge which is inside the interior of Denali National Park. At one point there was a landslide that happened two years ago and just because of the nature of Alaska and how difficult it is to build and get out there, it's gonna take them maybe till 2025 to build the road through the whole 100 miles that used to go. But now they have this flying experience with Pursuit Collection, which I'm getting to take part in to see what it's like to fly into the backcountry lodge. And like yesterday was so awesome. I'm at the Denali cabins. They have a shuttle, they pick me up at the Alaska Rail. And then I headed into the park and there's a visitor center there and they tell you everything you need to know. There's like two movies they show every 30 minutes. They have some information about how the park started. I did the horseshoe loop trail and that was really beautiful. But oh well, I need to pack up. Go get breakfast, they have a restaurant and coffee shop on site, so you know me, I gotta get a latte. But let's go. The entire process was seamless. We packed our soft case luggage so we could fly with the Temsco helicopters. We got briefed on safety precautions as well, and we were all checked in and ready to go on our trip to the Denali Backcountry Lodge, which included a 40 minute flight into Denali National Park. I had only been in one other helicopter before, so I can't lie. I was a little bit nervous, but this was definitely going to be one of the most epic ways to see Denali National Park. Cool. We just finished my ears are like plugged up right now, but it's so such a beautiful flight a little hazy So we couldn't see Denali entirely, but we saw the peak of it And yeah, definitely a cool way to fly Welcome into Denali guys. National Park As soon as we arrived our Denali backcountry naturalist met us at the helicopter and helped us to bring our bags to the cabins They have about 24 guests max capacity here Alrighty guys, I'm going to take you inside the Denali Backcountry Lodge cabin that I have. I love it because I'm right near the sauna and hot tub or jacuzzi, whatever you like to call it. But here we are. The room is very spacious and there's a giant king bed, lots of natural light. And yeah, they actually give you an Osprey backpack that you can use a hiking guide a uh, mosquito net for your head because I guess they get a ton of mosquitoes here. A reusable water bottle as well as, as I said, the mosquito net, which is really, really useful. I got bit by a lot. They also said to wear loose clothing. I obviously didn't get the memo, but I really like this outfit anyway, so I will just have to suffer. But yeah, we got the mirror and the bathroom, which has everything you need, shampoo, conditioner, the toilet in a nice clean shower which is always awesome when you are gonna go do hikes or some outdoor activities but we have lunch at one so I need to rush over there right now to bring you along to see what they have to eat let's go so lunch it will be over here they said so heading that way everything's all-inclusive here at the Denali backcountry cabins so I don't have to worry about eating which is always nice we have canoes and kayaks as well as bikes for rent. Well, not rent, but you can use them and go off on an adventure on your own as well. 
Okay, so we have all you can eat here and everything looks so good. Of course, I go to the dessert first and we have the sun-kissed chips. I found it super interesting that everything had to be flown in here. So basically at lunch, we ordered what we wanted for dinner so that they would have all the right ingredients for us. And it was always the best food. The chef was amazing here. After lunch, we got a tour of the property, learning about the daily guided hikes for all levels offered, as well as self-paced activities that they could drive us to, like kayaking at Wonder Lake, and the hors d'oeuvres and educational talks they gave in the afternoons before dinner. If you're afraid of being sore from all the hiking, don't be afraid, there's a spa with a masseuse. If you get a rainy day, you don't have to worry. They also have an area where you can play games and pool inside. But I was here for as many outdoor adventures as possible, so we headed out to go kayaking on Wonder shot. Lake. No, 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 no. But first, we had to you learn to be bear, bear wear. All right. Okay. So, uh, scenario number two. More likely, you see a bear and through no fault of your own, you say, oh my God, a bear. <laughs> and the bear notices you. So now the bear is curious. What's going on over here? Well, if the bear notices you and he's just curious and they stand up to sniff and look, that's not, that's not the scary part, trust me, that's coming. Um, that's when you just say, hey bear, I'm a nice big human, what's up, why don't you? head the other way and I'll go this way and we'll just never see each other ever again. Then we got our kayaks and started rolling to Wonder Lake. So right now we're going kayaking and this is creating much more difficult. I feel like I'm just dragging my kayak now. <laughs> Are we sure this is the right way? <laughs> We made it. There's a lot of mosquitoes here, but it's so clear. We have to place all to ourselves. You have to basically carry the kayaks about a quarter mile. Then you have this place all to yourself. And usually, I think Denali is right over there. But the clouds are covering it right now. Okay, so one thing's for certain, this lake is so quiet and you almost have a perfect reflection. There's like just the three of us out here. And normally you can see Denali over there, but it's covered in clouds. So maybe we'll still have two more nights and three days to see Denali. But for now, this is pretty epic that you get this place all to yourself. And when nobody's paddling, all you hear is complete silence. They say Bruce the Moose also calls this place home, so who knows, maybe we still see him before we leave. But this is just amazing. After freshening up, I got a nice mocktail and then headed in for some hors d'oeuvres as well as an educational session about mountaineering on Denali and photography. All right, just had dinner and it was awesome. Had this great starter salad. Then they had bison meat that tasted so superb and ended the dessert with a key lime specialty that the chef made. And then I came back to this guy. Look at it, so cute. And a little chocolate as well as note. Take some time to savor the moment, wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. And honestly, the DBL team here at the Backcountry Lodge is so amazing, so thoughtful, and everybody has been so engaging to learn more about not only the place that we're staying at, but also the people that have adventured before us at Denali. There was a awesome little uh, talk that we had learning about photography and some of the first adventures that summited Denali. And now we're going to the Reflection Pond, which I'm really excited to see. Hopefully we get a sight of the famous Denali. Let's go. All right, so now we made it to the Reflection Pond and you can actually walk through most of the tundra here, 
There's no marked paths. You can just can go. And there are a lot of blueberry bushes here. Like this. Check this out. Yeah, blueberries. And Denali. What a gem. Not only 30% of people get to see an unobstructed view of Denali. So for my first day at the Denali Backcountry Lodge, I was already over the moon about my stay here. And it was time to rest for day two of adventures. Good morning, I'm here up early at the Denali Backcountry Lodge. We're getting ready to do a hike. And it's gonna be the moderate one, so a little nervous about it, but we have the nature's guides that take us out on a guided hike, so we don't have to hike alone. And not only that, I'm gonna have an epic breakfast beforehand, so let's go check out what they have. And hopefully we see some animals from afar, because yeah, they're pretty big and gnarly out here. And one more thing, the cool thing about Denali Backcountry Lodge is they give you basically everything you need. They give you a backpack, an Osprey backpack, to use while you're here, a Nalgene, a water bottle, a mosquito net for your hair, a fly swatter, and yeah, they have all the bug spray you could need, and yeah, just definitely a nice touch. Of it. Right, this looks so good. Salmon, omelet, brie cheese. Awesome. Dig in. Salmon, omelet, and brie cheese. Oh, yeah. After breakfast, we did the Camp Bridge Trail, which showed evidence of mining, which went on in Denali National Park till 1985. As we got there, I put the mosquito net across my head and hat because they were out in full force on this trail. <laughs> Moose yeah. So that's a lot. It looks pretty fresh. So <laughs> I just want to see moose. Okay, I underestimated how bad the mosquitoes are here in Denali. Uh. <laughs> wear loose pants because they bite through leggings. Wear, yeah, do not wear leggings. Do not wear leggings. <laughs> <laughs> where, we, where we struggle. <laughs> now I have to wear very hot pants to hike up. I'm not Sometimes you just have to do things that are more pleasurable, and we were getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, so we decided to go yeah, biking so we took instead. The opportunity to go cycling here in Denali, and we are having one of the most beautiful days checking out Denali while we're on the bike. So awesome! And they actually said they can't. Usually drive vehicles over here because it's, um, yeah, not supposed to be driven down right now, but you can ride bikes, which is really nice. And we're off heading towards the road unknown. But this is so cool. If I see a moose, I'm gonna like freak out. I'll be so happy, but be quiet too, because I don't want them to run after me. Every time we go off to do an adventure, they teach us how to be bear aware. And yeah. I've learned a lot while being here. This is so much fun. By the time we go head back for lunch. And yeah, mountain biking is kind of fun on the gravel. Alrighty guys, so got back from an epic bike ride with the best views of Denali. Now back at the lodge and it's time for lunch and I'm wiped. But there's still some more adventures to have. Just one more night here and then half day. And then back to the Denali cabins in the front of the park. But this view is never gonna get old. After I got lunch, I went and had a burger inside the lodge and we headed back out to explore an off the beaten water path walk. destination with a natural. That's cute. Oh wow. <laughs> I should wear my hiking boots. This was one of those short but rewarding bushwhacking hikes where we got to see a waterfall and then there was also an area where you can go swimming if you can break the cold water because trust me it is freezing.
Denali National Park is also one of the only national parks you can go bushwhacking, which means you can go off trail. Like it is very sketchy. <laughs> I like it better than sharp rock. You can totally trust these alders with your life. <laughs> That's good. Finally, we made it down to the clearest blue water, and I decided to try to brave the water, but it was in fact frigid. The final stop before heading back to the lodge was to the end of the Kentishna Road, which is the furthest west you can drive all the way from Florida. Well, at least until the rock slide happened. When we got back, I decided to take a dip and then go into the sauna before dinner. Alrighty, guys, we're just heading to dinner, and there's like a talk. I'm Running a smidge bit late, but it's been so relaxing. I went in the river and yeah, just enjoying my last evening and night here at the backcountry lodge in July. So. For dinner, I had an amazing cod and we had a delicious dessert that was made by the chef. They have not only a chef, but a pastry chef here at the Denali Backcountry Lodge. So definitely worth it if you want the oh all-inclusive yeah. experience and the comforts of a luxury lodge without sacrificing the outdoor excitement. Which left me tired for bed each night. Good morning. Oh my god, I feel so tired, but I'm so excited. This is the last morning. We have to take the helicopter back from Kentishna to Denali near the park entrance. And now, yeah, just packing up to prepare. They asked for us to have our bags ready by 10 a.m. And then we leave them here. We can go on a hike at 7 to McKinley Bar, which is supposed to be a beautiful hike. Not too difficult, but a few hours and have breakfast beforehand. So yeah, and they send us off with a lunch at the lodge before heading on out. But it's been such an amazing experience. Like honestly, there's no words to describe how beautiful and picturesque, as well as not only that, you have this six million acre park almost entirely to yourselves. Right now the road is closed to get out here for a few years probably because it's so difficult and, um, just like the conditions out here to build on permafrost and everything are just extremely challenging. So one of the only ways to get out back here is by helicopter or small plane. And yeah, we took a helicopter out here with the Denali Backcountry Lodge and Pursuit Collection. And it is such an experience worth coming here, honestly. The staff here is lovely. They really make sure to show you a great time. And being alone as a solo female traveler, this has been awesome because they have naturist guides that come with us. They come up with ideas based off of your skills and abilities, and you can really get out there and push yourself outside your comfort zone, but know that you're gonna be safe doing it. And to me, that's like one of the most important things. I'm so glad I came out here with Pursuit Collection and now I get to do one last hike before I leave. And then there might be a surprise when we get back to Denali later. But for now, I've just had such a wonderful time in Alaska, the 49th state. And yeah, this is awesome. Let's go. That morning I woke up early to pack and get ready for one last hike before we were flying out. Time to go. But this has been such a lovely room and cabin. I have to pack my stuff here and leave it here and they'll come pick it up to put it in the helicopter. And this is just a loaner that they gave us, but it's been very handy. But now, time for breakfast. After breakfast, we packed into the car and headed to the top of the McKinley Bar Trail. All right guys, so we're doing the McKinley Bar Trail, which is the only maintained trail in this part of Denali National Park. And it is a beautiful day today. Luckily, the mosquitoes don't seem as bad today as when we started to do the Ridge Trail. And we're hiking at a brisker pace because we are actually going to be taking the helicopter back to the entrance of the park today. But it is so beautiful and Denali's right there. 
This has been so epic. They say that only 30% of visitors to Denali get to see the mountain in all three days. We've had an amazing, perfectly unobstructed view. This is just like out of this world. I cannot believe this experience. Pursuit Collection really thinks of everything completely. It's not just about a place to stay a cabin in the woods. It's about an experience in the people you meet here. And the workers all have such interesting stories. This is definitely one of the most beautiful places I've been in the US and maybe the world. She was saying that these are Eskimo potato, and in the Into the Wild, he actually thought he was eating Eskimo potato, but he was eating sweet pea root. And the bears actually eat. Now you take this and dig it up. So bears have been eating. It was by far one of my favorite trails, and it was super beautiful day to be hiking in Denali National Park. Plus, we got to learn all about the different things we saw, like this bear hair and wolf hair, and also the naturalist taught us a lot about the different fauna that we saw. All right, guys, so we got some soap berries, and they're really bitter, I guess, but bears love them, and yeah, they look pretty cool. I don't know if I want to try that. I see stuff on it. Alright, this is so cool. We're in Denali National Park and we came to the McKinley Bar Trail. This river is a silt river and it literally can change almost all the time. There could be a mile of streams and rivers you have to cross before you get to Denali. This was the original backpacking route to climb Denali and it is one of the most dangerous things. It's in the top three things that killed people while they tried to climb Denali because the river is constantly changing and the silt in it can be so strong in the current that it would take people. Not this part here, but literally there's so many more streams and it's constantly changing and moving due to the glacier waters that come from Denali. But yeah, we're not climbing up the whole thing, but it's definitely cool that we get to see a part of history here and walk on a part of history as well. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy the amazing views. It's cool because when we're here, we're seeing a lot of different tracks, snooze tracks, bear tracks, and a lot of wolf tracks. So I'm keeping an eye on that, but this is so amazing. Time to head back, so whoa, was that worth it? At first I was really tired this morning and I wasn't really sure if I wanted to come and not be able to enjoy the rest of the Denali Backcountry Lodge. But honestly, this was 100% worth it, like every one of the naturalists. After hurrying back through the woods, yelling hey bear to make sure no bears were going to come near us, it was time to leave. Finally say goodbye to the Denali Backcountry Lodge and boarding now. I was way less nervous this time around to take the helicopter back and got to really enjoy the full ride back. Plus we had unobstructed views of Denali as we were leaving, which was just amazing. Amazing. 
All right, earlier I told you I might have a surprise. And that surprise is right behind me. I may be going on a small plane that will head around Denali and we'll get even more close and personal with the giant mountain. Oh my God, this is so cool. And somebody actually said they fit like nine people on a plane, which is crazy. I wonder what one we use. They seem to have a few. And it flies right behind Denali cabins, which is pretty cool as well. Coming over the spine um, today. So we've been flying kind of between the spine and the park road corridor, um, getting good views up the Muldrow Glacier of the northeast corner of the mountain, seeing the east face, the north face. Uh, we've seen both summits most of the time today. So there was one flight where there was a little halo. You could kind of make out the North Peak through the, the mistiness. Um, and so there, there is weather out there, it is moving around, um, but rest assured, whatever is visible when we're up there, the pilots will show you as much of it as possible. All right guys, here we go. We're going flying with Denali Air, and I am actually a little nervous. Elaine and Jared? Elaine and Jared? Okay. Here we go. I think that's everyone. Once again, my name's Aine, in case you missed that. Little information about the plane. Um, these windows, everybody gets a nice big window seat. I'm gonna be turning the plane so people get nice views. Um, <laughs> typically safe, it's just, it is a little bit. It's cold. air. Yeah, it's just air moving. And the plane can handle air. Oh yeah, it's been handling it for a long time. <laughs> my first small plane ever. Oh, this is? Yeah. Oh, well, you might love it. What type of plane is this? This is a Piper Navajo. We've got two 310 horsepower turbocharged engines. We've got way more power than we need for this operation. <laughs> um, how are you doing there? Good? Tighten this oh, buckle. Okay. I feel like this means like I'm a big person. I'm always sitting in the back. <laughs> At least I have a lot of room. Back here. As I said, this was my first time on a small plane, but I really enjoyed it. In the headsets, they even gave you a tour so you could see and know what you're looking at. And also, our pilot was so amazing and alleviating a lot of my worries. Plus, she drove us so smoothly above the clouds and close to the Alaska range, as well as the peak of Denali. This Denali scenic flight is definitely worth it, especially if you're not able to go to the Denali Backcountry Lodge because you get to see Denali and get really up and close and personal. Plus, look at this small plane land. It was definitely an adrenaline rush. Hopefully this video helped you in finding the best way for you to see Denali National Park. If you are excited as ever, we're going to be leaving Denali to go to Anchorage on the Alaska Railroad and we'll be exploring more of coastal Alaska. As always, hit the thumbs up if this video helped you so more people can find it and it can help them. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the vlog for Anchorage next.